Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. According to the top 500 data of the International Supercomputer Organization, China's Sunway Taihu Light, which once dominated the list for many years, has been squeezed out of the top five by the United States and Japan. The United States threatened, China's supercomputers have declined. Unexpectedly, the United States underestimated China. In the 2023 International Supercomputer Conference, the Jinan supercomputer will once again reach the top of the world and increase the IO500 world record by more than 15 times. In this regard, the British media Financial Times analyzed, China is hiding its strength. It turns out that every breakthrough of China's supercomputer will attract crazy suppression from the United States. However, throughout history, every Western sanction has pushed China to a new level. Supercomputers, also known as the most powerful brains, can be applied to the simulation of highly complex systems such as meteorology, life sciences, and military affairs. In the 1960s, the most advanced computers in the world were in the hands of the United States, which offered a sky-high price of 7 million US dollars. China's technology was backward and could only be bought. In order to curb China's development, the United States threatened to never sell it to China. However, in less than 10 years, Chinese computers have developed rapidly without foreign aid, and even started the development of supercomputers. Seeing this situation, the United States immediately let go and agreed to export two entry-level computers to China during the honeymoon period. Sure enough, the computers purchased by China at a cost of hundreds of millions of yuan were greatly compromised in performance and were restricted by the United States to be used only for oil exploration. In order to monitor China's technological development, they demanded that it be placed in a locked glass room, and they had to apply to them every time they used it, and they were accompanied throughout the process. This is undoubtedly a great shame to China. In fact, not only supercomputers, but China's initial development of shield machines, hand-sheared steel, and AMU in biotechnology fields have all been suppressed by the West. When China spent 700 million to buy a shield machine for repairs, Germany set up a cordon to prevent China from stealing. The hand-sheared steel that costs trillions of imports every year was despised by Japan. I can't make it in this life. The above-mentioned cutting-edge technology has been monopolized by the United States and Japan for a long time due to bioenzyme technology. With a sky-high price of 23,000 per gram, it is aimed at the wallets of the rich, and ordinary people can only stand aside. Chinese engineers are well aware of the truth that skills are inferior to human beings and can only be slaughtered by others and immediately took the order no matter what, we must build our own exascal computer. At that time, the running speed of China's most advanced computer was only 2 million times per second, while that of the United States had reached 2.5 billion times per second, the difference of 1250 times was a natural barrier. However, in only five years, China built the Inha number no. 1 becoming the third country in the world that can independently develop an exascale computer. Since then, Chinese supercomputers such as Tianhe and Dawn have come one after another, and surpassed it in 2010. The United States won the first place in the world. China is not afraid of U.S. suppression. China's supercomputers have grown from humble beginnings to overlords. According to incomplete statistics, China's Tianhe 2 has won the championship six times in a row, 
and plans to increase the calculation speed to more than three times the original. The United States couldn't take it anymore, and immediately put four Chinese research and development institutions into the blacklist and banned the export of high-end chips to them. However, its trick still failed. One year later, the Sunway Taihu 1 equipped with China's Shenwei 26010 multicore processor had a peak computing speed of 1.2 billion billion operations, and its performance was twice that of the United States. Hand in hand to win the championship and runner up for many years in a row. At this time, China is at the peak of breakthroughs and the above-mentioned shield machines and hand-sheared steels have achieved technical overtakes, and have taken away the pricing power. And China's Imu Yin won the first leg in the future technology competition. According to the international journal Nature, Harvard Medical School found that its key molecule has the potential to slow down the aging rate of mammalian physiological indicators and extend the healthy period of 30%, which is regarded as a chip in the field of biotechnology. The China Biosciences Research Team closely followed the global trend, independently developed the patented enzymatic method technology and raised the purity of the reagent to 99%. The United States and Japan, which used to be rampant in the international market, turned to China for raw materials. Not only that, after technological upgrades reduced the cost by 90%, Chinese biotechnology companies quickly promoted the launch of China's Amuyin, and made it available to the general public through JD East. At the same time, the United States began to fear the development of China's high-end manufacturing, so it repeatedly included Chinese biotechnology companies and supercomputer research institutions on the entity list. However, now, Amuyin has regained more than 50% of the domestic market, leaving American and Japanese products behind. According to the calculations of CITIC Securities, under the global aging trend, there is a strong demand for such technologies that improve the quality of life of middle-aged and elderly people, and the market behind them is expected to create a value of 100 billion. Now top universities such as Yale and the University of Tokyo are stepping up their breakthroughs in an attempt to get a bigger pie. Emerging technology iterations are changing with each passing day. Previously, both the United States and Japan have announced the development of an E-Class supercomputer, Exascale S, threatening to win the second game in the supercomputer competition between China and the West. However, British media revealed that China's first E-Class supercomputer had been in operation for more than a year before it was announced in the United States, and the other two have also reached the final stage. China no longer bothers to participate in the rankings. And in the global top 500 list, 45% of the supercomputers are still from China, ranking first. Although the United States has announced sanctions against seven Chinese institutions that develop E-Class computers, it will not help. Today, China has basically achieved self-sufficiency in the field of supercomputers, and there is no need to worry about being restricted by the United States. History has proved that the more self-reliant, the more open the situation, and the containment of the West will only push China to break through faster.